If you want 2023 to be your year where everything in your life changes, then I'm gonna share with you in this video exactly what to do step by step so that in a year from now, you look back and you can tell this is the one thing that changed everything. And I know this sounds like maybe just some form of gimmick or something, but things really are very simple when we let it be simple. And sometimes what we do is we think we need to watch more videos, we need to consume more content, and we're gonna get clarity from looking outside of ourselves. Now, the one thing that I think will change your life more than anything else in 2023 is to stop looking to the external, to stop getting into the phone so often, to stop looking for the dopamine, comparing yourself to others and to actually bring the energy more inwards to get clarity. If you want clarity for 2023, one thing you could do is simply to stop going in your phone so much and to get out in nature, to go out in nature. I've been talking about this more recently because it is literally game changing when you begin to do it. A lot of times I think people feel anxiety, people feel depressed, because they're living inside of their phones. They're comparing themselves to other people. They are, their energy is being projected towards this mental world that lives inside of this imaginary world of the phone instead of being more in their bodies to getting back to their own nature. There are so many stories of people who have become enlightened like, uh, like Osho or Sadhguru or other enlightened people. You hear about it a lot in like, India, the people that are enlightened, the, it's a similar story. They're like, they're going through something. For Osho, it was interesting. He was trying very hard to like become enlightened. He had this very strict schedule from this time in the morning till this, he's gonna do this every night, no matter what, at this exact time he goes to bed. And he, he had so many rules about what he could do and what he couldn't do. But then he said, screw it. He let it all go. He had friends over and they were like, oh, do you want this, uh, this like drink, this, this alcohol? And he was like, screw it, I'll do it. And not to say that that was like his, his path or like what made him enlightened or anything, but then he just completely let go of all the routines and everything. And then one day he went on this like, his morning walk and he was sitting by a tree and he just started laughing. He started crying and laughing, realizing how stupid this whole thing of enlightenment is. Because he realized it was so much more simple. And it was like, you already are enlightened and you're trying so hard to become something, you're searching so hard for something, and all you had to do was get back to your core, get back to your own nature. And when you're in nature, it makes it way more easy. But when there's this dopamine addiction to the phone, this dopamine addiction to comparing to other people, to wanting the validation and approval that you get from like posting stuff on social media, it'll distract you from what really matters. It'll distract you from your core nature. If in 2023 you want clarity, then cut out the things that are cut out the things that are muddling up and confusing your mind. And instead, literally go out in nature, chill next to a tree. Go more inwards, bring the awareness into the body. You will get more clarity from that than you will anything else. I have this pattern sometimes where what I do is I I look to what everyone else is doing. I look to, like in my own business even, I'm like, well, what's working for other people? Even on YouTube videos, like what titles are working well for people? How can I learn from that and then modify it for my own? In 2023, what I'm realizing the energy is, is rewarding is authenticity and originality. Do what works for you. And this is something that I'm, beginning to do more so is tune to myself and what do I actually want to do? And also I'm giving myself permission to take a step back. Normally in 2020, uh, like every year, in the beginning in January, I let it be a big month, like a big income month for me where I do some crazy 21 day challenge and it's this big transformational thing that I do and I, it requires a lot of energy on my part. Sometimes I go live like 21 days in a row with like three to 5,000 people and it's this big, energetic month for me to start out the year with a bang. 
And what I've realized is I had something planned for December or for uh, in December and November. I was planning to January to be this big month, this big income month, this big month of like transformation, all this stuff. And what I realized is there's these old patterns in, in this last year or two that I've become aware of. In fact, I have this reoccurring dream that I believe is showing me that I'm living in the old patterns and I need to break away even though it's scary. For example, I have this reoccurring dream that happens probably every three weeks to a month. I have this dream at night where I'm in, here I am in Vegas right now. By the way, I'm in Vegas for a week seeing family and friends and stuff. And back, you know, in 2017, for 10 years, I worked a nine to five job. Uh, for 10 years, I worked a nine to five job selling women's shoes. And there's this reoccurring dream I have where I'm working in women's shoes, I'm going into the back stock room to grab women's shoes for somebody. And what happens is I'm like realizing that I'm working this nine to five job and I'm like, wait, I have a YouTube channel. I have all this abundance yet. I'm still like grabbing shoes for people. And it's a similar dream to that, that I have every month. And I always ask myself, like, what is the purpose of this dream? Why? And it's, it's, a, it's a dream where the emotion is, I'm at this job that I don't have to be at. I can leave at any moment, but I haven't left. And I'm like grabbing shoes for people and I don't want to be grabbing shoes for people. And it's this like dream of like, why am I still here? And this reoccurring dream keeps coming up and I understand that dreams a lot of times are releasing energy from the subconscious mind and can help you become aware of different energy patterns. And I become aware that like, even though I've created this abundance on YouTube, even though I've created the ability to travel the world, there's this hamster wheel that I keep myself on because I'm so attached to the old ways of being. I'm so attached to like, oh, YouTube is my identity. I must make three to five videos a week on YouTube or something bad will happen. It's brought me so much security. It's brought me so much freedom that like I keep this old mentality alive. And there's pressure that I put on myself. Even a couple months ago, I was making at one point five to seven videos a week forcing myself to make five, seven videos a week, I should say. I was losing the passion for it. I felt like I had to make videos. When you feel like you have to make videos, sometimes it sucks the life out of it. And also, I found that I was just also trying to do what I thought, the kind of videos that I thought I needed to make. One big thing, one big breakthrough for me in 2023 too, was I was making so many freaking videos on the no contact rule, how to let go of this, uh, like this, this relationship pattern. And, and if you're this attachment style, like all these love videos. And I, I was only making love videos. Like one, on one hand, yeah, maybe I wanted to help people. On the other hand, if I make a love video, it gets way more views than any other video. Why? Because a lot of my most viral videos aren't attracting love. If you go to my channel and you order and you, you reorganize it by like the, the most popular videos, most of them are on attracting love. And because of that, I'm like, oh, I got to keep making love videos, even though I am so freaking tired of making love videos. So a big breakthrough for me was I decided not that long ago, I'm not, I'm not making a freaking, you know, if, if the no contact rule, get them back or whatever, even though the title of that and in the, in the, the title that I would put, it's not like I'm really showing people how to use the no contact rule to get your ex back. It's like you'd click on it, it's like how to let go and it's these deeper ideas. It's like I just don't want to like, I feel like I'm selling a part of my soul to like for the YouTube algorithm. And also it's just not authentic for me to be making these love videos anymore. So a big breakthrough for me was I just stopped, I was like I'm not making one of those videos anymore. I'm gonna focus more on my own authentic expression even if it doesn't get that many views. Because what, I, what I'm realizing I need to do is get back to my own nature. And part of my own nature is doing something because I am passionate about it, I love it, and I, I do wanna help people, but it's like I have to be, I realize more than anything else, people feel what you, people feel what you feel. People feel what I feel. If I'm making a video and I'm like forcing myself to make it and it's on no contact and it might get a lot of views because it's on this concept that like a lot of other people that have watched my channel already have clicked on, um, but I don't want to make it, you're going to feel that. But if I make a video that I'm passionate about, like this video right now, I feel, I feel good making. Not only that, like I have this view, I'm, I'm like here in Vegas and I'm on this like high rise condo thing and I have this view of Vegas and it's like this crazy expansive view. So I feel, I feel pretty good. Like I'm looking out at Red Rock Canyon and I'm like, just like 
it's, it's kind of a cool vibe and I realized, oh, people feel what I feel. And the funny thing too is in 2023, one of the biggest messages I can give you is to give yourself permission to be who you came here to be. Give yourself, per like I have gotten comfortable making YouTube videos because I've made so many hundreds of uh, thousands of YouTube videos and every time I make it, it gets easier and easier in a way, unless I force myself to make a video I don't wanna make. But when I first started in YouTube in 2020, uh, 2017, I didn't feel confident making videos, but I made a video, I made another video, I committed to daily videos, I got better and better at it, more comfortable at it, and then I started to believe in myself more, and then videos started to pop. Because anything you do more repetitively, you get better at. So the key though is stop waiting for permission in 2023. Stop waiting for someone to tell you you're good enough, you're credible enough, you can do it. You must sometimes be your own cheerleader. I had to just at a certain point decide, this is who I am now. And I had to commit to that version of me as a YouTuber. And the more I, I, I committed to it first and then it got more and more natural the more that I did it. But if you, I was waiting for a long time for Tony, I wanted to meet Tony Robbins and I wanted like somebody to tell me that you could do it. And I waited, I waited, I waited, and it didn't happen until I decided, until I was my own cheerleader. Sometimes also I think we have an old mentality where maybe we're working a nine to five job and the social conditioning of that is I will wait for someone to tell me what to do. You have a boss mate, even though I hated my nine to five job, I would have, I, there's, there's like some level of safety or comfort that I got in going to a job every day and knowing what my rules were, what I had to do. And there was some part of that that I was just used to. And then I wanted to like, be on YouTube and stuff, and there was no one to hold me accountable but myself. So an identity shift that I had to make is I had to stop waiting for somebody to tell me what to do, to give me permission, and I just had to do it, and I had to become my own, I had to have my own vision and be motivated by that. And be motivated by the passion that I felt from my heart when I was being that way, when I was doing that. And one thing that I wanna share with you that really changed a lot for me was just like, that I think could help you too, is just give yourself permission in 2023. For a long time I was like, oh, I'm not credible enough to be on YouTube. I live at my dad's house. As at the time I lived at my dad's house. Um, but those a lot of times are the ego's tricky mechanisms that it use is to keep you in the same energy. So one thing that I think will change a lot is you just give yourself permission and I have to do this in my own life this year too. And 2020, you know, in 2023, normally I'd do a challenge, this huge 21 day challenge in January. And a big breakthrough for me is just deciding not to do it. Trusting that the money, the abundance, you know, I have, sal I have people on salary, I have like, you know, there are business expenses and stuff. But what I'm realizing is I've tiptoed around this whole th new identity of me doing live events, of me like wiring in a new version of myself. And for so long, and that reoccurring dream that I have is a complete reflection of that energy of being afraid to realize, wait, you can chill for a little bit or you can like let go, like letting go of that nine to five job. It's like I'm still in this hamster wheel of this making videos of like not realizing that I can chill a little, not I mean like, I'm not passionate about anything because sometimes I do that. I think, oh, I just need to do nothing for like weeks and then I'll do nothing for weeks and then I'll feel like kind of depressed because I, I actually like and love what I do. There's a passion that flows through me. So it's not a bad thing. However, um, what I'm going, a big breakthrough for me is to like choose to trust in 2023 and to focus more on my energy than the outcome. How is it going to make me feel to focus more on live events, which I know from experience. When I do a, a retreat in Costa Rica, when I do a live event, like I did the shift experience back in May, 2022, it was a big breakthrough for me because I, I loved being on stage. I love interacting with people. YouTube is cool and making videos is cool, but like there's not as much, I, I like interaction. I like feeling the energy of the people in the, in the, in the room so that I can then like, d it, it brings a different element out of me and it allows me to sharpen my skills as well because I, I feel like I've made so many videos now that like 
me stepping out of my comfort zone is going to be key to my next level of growth. And that means maybe normalizing a new way of being, maybe normalizing doing live events. I have buddies of mine that have been running live events for like 10 years and they do like an event every weekend with hundreds of people and they travel the world and do that. And I'm thinking to myself like, why can't I just normalize it, not make it this huge thing on a pedestal where I only do one or two live events a year? Why can't I just like take the pressure off and maybe like just go on tour and do like, you know, like a cheaper event that maybe doesn't make that much money, but like I have to put a lot of thought into, but I just love it. And then I get the energy of it. And maybe then those videos go on YouTube or something like that. I'm kind of talking you through what, like I'm figuring this shit out right now as I'm making this video, which is kind of funny. <laughs> maybe that's what I'll do. And that to me is more exciting. Like when I'm thinking of 2023, if I feel inside of my body and I think, oh, doing something you've already done, just making lots of YouTube videos and doing challenges and stuff and like doing online marketing and like sending out emails all the time. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's cool. I'd rather do that than a nine to five job. But on the other hand, what if you like, what if you like did like little pop-up live events? What if you interacted with people? What if you got content? I'm like, a, like in human design, I'm like a manifesting generator, which means like I respond, I do or I do. My zone of genius comes out more when I interact with people, when I interact with energy, more so than me just like initiating my own brilliant ideas that just flow through my body. No, it's like I, ideas come to me when I'm interacting with other people. And, and I think that like, I've been holding myself back from doing that because it's been easier for me to just stay inside my comfort bubble of like making videos and that's it. So it could be that the universe in a way I believe rewards the energy state you are in. More opportunities, more synchronicities will come into your life when you commit to the energetic you of a you that is more conducive of you sharing your heart, you and your own vulnerability, you stepping into a new version of you. I remember when I did the Shift Experience live event, I remember that week, I was so excited and there were so many interesting opportunities coming to me. I remember podcast people reach, like it, it made no sense because I wasn't actively like necessarily putting myself energetically, like reaching out to different podcasts and different people. But opportunities came to me because I believe I was in a high energy state that week. And it was like a complete reflection of my own energy. So the way, the questions I'm asking myself in 2023 are, how is this gonna make me feel? And if there's a little bit of fear there, a little bit of like the unknown, that's a good thing. That's not something to shy away from. Magic happens in the unknown. If you want to get what you've always got, then do what you've always done. If in 2023, you want to change your life or experience a new you, commit to something that scares you a little bit. The reason it scares you is because it's the unknown. Fear comes when you are brushing the edge of the unknown. And it's okay if it's there. It's there to keep you the safe. Fear is there to keep you in the familiar. It's to keep you in the known. And 2023, I promise you, if you commit to a new version of you, you activate courage within your body and you just freaking start, your life will change. Start. My buddy Victor and I run these 21 day challenges. Uh, we're gonna be doing another one in February of, um, of 2023. And um, anytime we do it, you know, these, these five day free challenges, they're, they're people that wanna do kind of what I do or my buddy Victor does where we are like, we're, we're um, we put out content for a living and we've monetized what we're passionate about. It's called full-time purpose. We help people go full-time do what they love. And uh, it, these five days, normally it's just a lot of live coaching. It's a lot of live calls and stuff and it's completely free. If you wanna check out the next one, by the way, I'll go and link it below. Um, or you can just go to www.fulltimepurpose.com. And basically what we do though is the, the same thing, there's, there's always one thing I say that changes, that, that, that I know just triggers people more than anything else in a positive way. And that is to start, to start, to start. Stop waiting. The waiting is keeping you in the familiar energy. Start, take action, commit to this new you, start. The thing that holds you back is the old mentality, the old identity. If you would simply start, your life would change. It puts you on a new timeline. When I started making YouTube videos in 2017, my life transformed. 
I waited for three to six years. I knew I wanted to be on YouTube, but I, did, I, I blocked myself. I didn't feel I was credible enough. I wasn't good enough, all this stuff. I didn't have the skills enough. Start, imperfect action. Start and understand that nothing is per perfectionism is an illusion. Perfectionism is keeping you in the familiar safe zone. There is no perfect. There is just commitment to starting. So in 2023, start. You owe it to yourself. The moment you start it, know the moment you are it. You are who you choose to be right now. You are who you choose to be right now and every moment's a new moment. In 2017, I just decided I am a full-time YouTuber and I decided to be it and guess what? That became my reality within three to six months. I quit my nine to five job. Could have quit a lot earlier if I would have known what I know now. But know that once you start it, you energetically are it. But you have to be the one to give yourself permission. And let how you feel, even if you're afraid a little bit, it's okay. Let how you feel be the barometer for what you go into. And let that carry you into you being a new you. The truth is, transformation comes as a result of awareness. And once you become aware that maybe you've been doing the same things over and over again, surrounding yourself by the same people over and over again, having the same habits over and over again, that's why, you're, that's why you probably feel stuck. You're just doing the same things. And the key is to make a choice to start to be this new version of you and to give yourself permission to be it and to know that people feel what you feel. So the more you be it, the more comfortable you're gonna get. You may not feel it right immediately, but it's okay. And the more you commit to it, the more you will find that it becomes more and more natural for you. And the more natural it becomes, the more uh, you feel differently about it and the more you're out of reality then it begins to change. But have the courage in 2023 to really step into this new you. It's funny, I was listening to this, uh, I, I don't, like okay, so for astrology, for example, I find astrology fascinating. A friend of mine is Braca Goldsmith who's like an amazing world-renowned astrologer and I've had her on my channel before. And uh, one of the things, I was watching one of her videos recently, she was talking about how like March, 2023 is going to be a big year, you know, for like light workers and for, and specifically with the astrology and I'm not an astrology expert, but it's specifically for healers and people that want to come into their power. Healers that want to like start expressing themselves out in the world and that want to like understand how to like monetize that and how to live that. And I thought that was interesting because we're doing a 21 day challenge in February or not 21 day challenge. We're doing a five day challenge in February on that. But I, I just feel like, even for myself, I'm already doing what I love, but I feel like it's like, I'm gonna do an event around that time. I'm gonna normalize this new way of being. Not because of just the money that's gonna come from it, all that, I'm gonna normalize it because this is about energy. 2023 is about energy. And when you commit to this new energy, this new version of you, for me, that's doing live events in 2023, not because of the money and all this other stuff, it's because of the energy state it puts me in. In 2017, it was me making YouTube videos. It put me in a different energy. I was kind of afraid at first. I didn't think I was good enough, credible enough, but I committed to it, changed my life. Now I'm committing to a new version of me, which is normalizing that of running live events and interacting with other people in person, not just through the interwebs. And it's not, the thing is, is when you do it to get somewhere else, it's a different energy than when you're doing it because of the energy and because it's who you are. I'm getting bored with just making videos all the damn time, online, not interacting with people in person, and I'm, I just know that the, the key for me is to actually move into that energy. Not because it's gonna, it's gonna like, you know, all this money is gonna come, it, because it's who I prefer to be. Definitely, like live, like online, there's no expenses or anything. I can do a 21 day challenge, I can do a lot of things online and make a lot of abundance. Doing a live event, there's expenses, there's team, there's travel, there's all this stuff, but I don't, I, I, I'm really focused on 2023. The energy state it puts me in is my barometer. Not just the old familiar patterns or doing things just for the money. So let 2023 be the year you give yourself permission, the year you start, the year you realize that the fear, the familiar, all of these things are just trying to keep you the same. Commit to this new version of you and watch how much your life begins to change. 
you want to check out that video right away with Braca um, on the, the, I think she talks about the predictions over the next couple of years and stuff like that, the Great Awakening and everything that's happening. Um, she's awesome and it was an amazing conversation. Check that video out right here. This is like a massive portal opening for the potential of many, many, many more souls waking up. As a world renowned astrologer, I'm interested, Braca, in your perception of the energy of 2022 and beyond 